All right, let's meet him. He is Narwhal the puppy. Full name, by the way, Narwhal the little magical furry unicorn. There he is, 10 weeks old. He's stealing everybody's hearts, by the way. He was uh, born, you see, with the extra tail coming out of his forehead. We're going to talk to a veterinarian about that. And again, by the way, the name Narwhal, that's named after the whale with the tusks sticking out of its head. Narwhal, by the way, rescued from the cold. This is in Missouri over the weekend. The rescue center says he had a little bit of frostbite on one paw, but other than that, he's completely healthy. Narwhal's forehead tail uh, does not wag, by the way. It does flop around from side to side, as you see him playing a little bit there. And the center already has more than 50 adoption applications for him, and I'm sure that number is going to grow. So let's bring in Dr. Duffy Jones, veterinarian with the Peachtree Hills Animal Hospital. You ever seen anything like that, doctor? You know, it's interesting. I haven't seen a tail from the forehead, but we do see um, kind of extra appendages at, at times. Okay, tail from the forehead. Is it connected? Uh, does it, will it wag? Will it continue to grow? Tell us about it. You know, it's an interesting, it sounds like they did some x-rays and it sounds like it's not connected. It's not coming from the skull. It doesn't seem like it has any bone in there. I think it's just skin and kind of hair. And so I think it'll flop around. It'll be interesting to see, will it continue to grow as, as the dog gets older um, as well too. But I think this is just a kind of a testament to, you know, development is a very complicated procedure and lots of cells have to differentiate into different things and that it goes right most of the time. This couple cells got confused, decided that they wanted to have a tail on the wrong end and I think that's what happened. All right, here's a question. A lot of folks weighing in on this one. Yep. Uh, Lisa on Facebook says, will this affect his vision and stability at some point? It really shouldn't. I think the only time it would affect his vision is that if it gets bigger and then starts to <laughs> flop into one of his eyes, then I think we'd have to do something about it. Got it. So, but you're saying if if the, whoever adopts him comes to you, you say what? Just leave it alone. That's that's yeah. his that's his trademark. It's like a great birthmark. It uh, definitely sets him apart, and you probably will be able to pick him out of a crowd pretty easily. Yeah, uh, just such a cute little guy. And again, uh, had a little it was frostbite. Tell us about that. That I mean, he's healing up from that. Should be ready for adoption soon, right? Yeah, frostbite, you know, it's a, it, it, dogs get it as well, too, even though they're, they're a little bit more suited to being outside than we are. And it basically is just when parts of the skin freeze, and it's usually in the extremities. So I imagine this is going to be his feet, other places like that. Most of the time, if you can catch it early, you can take care of it, and they do pretty well. Yeah, just love the look of this little guy. Hey, doctor, thanks again, Dr. Uh, Duffy Jones. Uh, we'll keep an eye on Narwhal's story and find out who gives him uh, the forever home. Appreciate it, doctor. Thanks. Have a good one.